I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on rational expressions. So whenever we talk about rational expressions, we have something over something, right? So we have something over something that gives us rational expression. Normally these are polynomials, right? <clears throat> now there are two questions related. The first one here is, for a cube of edge length x, find the ratio of the volume to surface, right? So let's sketch a cube. Uh, so we can sketch a cube like this. Each side is x units long. Now if that is a cube, then what is the volume of a cube? Volume of a cube is each side is x, right? Length, width, and height. So volume will be x times x times x. You could also write x cube. Okay. How about the surface area? The cube has six surfaces, right? Like this is one surface, which is the top, correct? Similarly, we have the sides, we have two top and bottom and four sides. All the areas are same, so we have six different surfaces. So surface area is, there are six surfaces, right? And area of each is length times width, x times x, correct? Or you could write 6x square. The question here is, for a cube of edge length x, find the ratio of volume to surface area. That really means we are interested in finding ratio means volume divided by surface area. This is what we need to find. Correct? So we have x cube and 6x square. x cube means 3x, correct? So we are interested in this ratio. This divided by that. Do you get it? So 2 of x's will cancel. So we'll x over 6 is going to be your answer. Correct? So let's do it. We have volume as x cube, surface area as 6x square, and when you simplify this, you get x over 6. How exactly? I will show you here. Two of the x's are common, they get cancelled, you are left with x over 6. Correct? Some of you who knows exponents, 3 minus 2 is 1, so you x to the power of 1 is x, and there is 6 in the denominator. Correct. So that becomes the ratio. Now units will be for cube, there are three x's. For area, there are two. So it will be in units, any unit. Uh, if x was in meters, it will be meters. If x was in centimeters, this will be centimeters, right? Okay. Now let's look into the next one. It says, for a sphere of radius r, find the ratio of volume to the surface area. Now, you should know the formula for sphere volume. So what is the volume of a sphere? Volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube, where r is the radius of the sphere. Right? So if I have a sphere, in that case, the radius is r, correct? So the radius is r of a sphere. So let me give it a three-dimensional look here, kind of like, is it okay? Okay. So that becomes r, the radius of a sphere. And the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square. Their ratio will be, that is volume over surface area will be, we can write here 4 by 3 pi r cube, I'm sorry, pi r cube divided by 4 pi r square. So when you simplify, 4 and 4 will cancel, pi and pi will cancel, r square will cancel with 2 r's, so you are left with r here, and therefore you could write this as that 3 comes in the denominator, r over 3. Is it okay? So that is how you can calculate the ratio of volume and surface area. So these are the rational expressions. Whenever you have something in the numerator divided by something in the denominator, then we get a rational expression. So I hope that makes sense. 
if the units were given, it should be in the units of units. <laughs> when I say units, any unit. For example, if I say R is in centimeters, then this unit will be in centimeters. That's what I mean when I write unit. It's important to write unit since volume will be measured in unit cube, surface area in unit square, right? So you have unit cube over unit square and when they cancel out, you're left with units as the unit. I hope that helps. Feel free to write suggestions, share my videos and if you like, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.